Hello, I'm Chris from Electric Bike Skillford and today I'm going to show you how to put a seal onto the Bosch motor of uh, the active line or the performance line motors so as to keep out all the wet and the muck over the winter. Tools that we're going to use for this are a chain whip, number 8 hex key, crank puller, I'm using the Park Tool CCP44, half inch socket wrench, lock ring tool, supplied by Bosch and uh, a spanner for uh, moving the wheel back if that's what we need to do. So starting off with the number 8 hex key I'm going to remove the crank bolt, fairly straightforward. And that's that. Important note, don't forget to take off the battery before you start messing about with this. We don't want any fingers chopped off. So having done that, I'm now going to remove the crank using the crank puller. Wind it in clockwise. One more go, and there we go. So wind that on hand tight, and then spin the handle round to get some resistance. And then squeeze it round, keep going, and then the crank's going to start coming off. There we go. Take the crank puller out. And uh, now you can see there that we've got a lock ring. Some of them are like this, some of them are silver. And uh, I'm going to put the lock ring tool onto the half inch socket wrench. You can either use a chain whip at this stage. I'm actually going to just hold on to the, to the back wheel as I wind this clockwise as it's a left hand screw. go. That's probably going to wind off now quite easily by hand. That's that. Then we've got a little o-ring here. I'm going to just grab a screwdriver to remove that. Nip that underneath and tweak it off. There we go. Take the chain off and remove the sprocket. There we go, there's the sprocket. And now I'm going to put on the seal. These are the seals from Bosch. Got teeth sticking outwards, and that's what—that's how you put it on with the teeth sticking out, and it just slides in, just like that. I'm going to put a bit of grease around while we've got the whole thing apart. And we go. Put back the sprocket. Chain back on at this stage. There we go, and now the O ring goes back on. Make sure it's on all the way around, it's tight, and then the lock ring, of course, this time turns anti clockwise. Tighten it up. And then tighten that up with the lock ring tool. And this time I'm going to use the other the other crank as a leverage on that. So just 
try and get that as tight as I can. That's it. And then finally, we put the crank back on. I'm going to put the other crank at 6 o'clock. So I can put this one on at 12 o'clock. Crank bolt. Tighten it up with the hex key. Use the paddler's leverage. Nice and tight. And that's it. Job's done. It's not a difficult job, but there are a few specialist tools, especially the Bosch lock ring. So we can do this for you and we will do this for all our customers at no charge.